In the vast and unpredictable arena of modern naval warfare, the aircraft carrier remains the undisputed centerpiece of maritime dominance. And among the most anticipated warships in the U.S. Navy's arsenal is the USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79, the second aircraft carrier of the cutting-edge Gerald R. Ford class. With its imposing size, revolutionary technologies, and transformative combat capabilities, the John F. Kennedy is not merely an evolution, it is a leap into the future of naval power projection. Named after the 35th President of the United States, and a former Navy officer himself, this carrier embodies the next generation of American sea power, where automation, energy weapons, and advanced aircraft integration converge to redefine what a carrier can do. The Gerald R. Ford class carriers are the most advanced and expensive warships ever constructed. Designed to replace the venerable Nimitz class carriers that have served for decades, the Ford class introduces more than 23 new technologies and systems. Among them are the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMALS, Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, a redesigned island superstructure, and significantly increased electrical power generation. The USS John F. Kennedy incorporates all of these innovations, setting the stage for a new operational paradigm in carrier warfare. Measuring approximately 1,092 feet in length and displacing over 100,000 tons, the John F. Kennedy is a floating city that can house more than 4,500 sailors and aircrew. Its nuclear propulsion system, powered by two A1B nuclear reactors, generates three times the electricity of its predecessors, providing the power not just for today's operations, but also for tomorrow's emerging technologies, including directed energy weapons and advanced radar systems. This abundance of energy is crucial, as modern threats demand rapid adaptation and integration of high-power systems, such as future railguns or lasers. One of the most revolutionary features aboard the John F. Kennedy is EMALS. Unlike the steam catapults of previous generations, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system uses linear induction motors to launch aircraft with greater precision, less wear and tear, and reduced manpower. It allows for more sorties per day and supports the launch of both heavy fighters and lighter drones. Similarly, the advanced arresting gear improves the recovery process, handling a broader range of aircraft and requiring less maintenance. Together, EMALS and the AAG boost the sortie generation rate by up to 33% compared to Nimitz-class carriers, a critical advantage in sustained operations. But the story of the John F. Kennedy is not just about technological enhancements. It's also about survivability and lethality. The carrier is equipped with dual-band radar systems capable of simultaneously tracking air and surface threats, providing exceptional situational awareness. The ship's defensive armament includes evolved Sea Sparrow missiles ESSM, rolling airframe missiles RAM, Phalanx CIWS, and advanced electronic warfare systems. Moreover, the carrier is expected to host future high-energy laser systems designed to neutralize drones, cruise missiles, and even hypersonic threats at the speed of light. These weapons, once fully operational, will mark a paradigm shift, replacing kinetic interceptors with silent, invisible beams of light. Crucial to the carrier's function is the carrier strike group that surrounds it. A Gerald R. Ford-class carrier, like the John F. Kennedy, is never deployed alone. It sails at the heart of a formidable naval task force, typically including guided missile destroyers from the Arleigh Burke class, Ticonderoga class cruisers, fast attack submarines such as the Virginia class, and one or more supply ships. Each of these vessels plays a specific role, whether it's anti-submarine warfare, air defense, surface strike, or logistics. The destroyers and cruisers form the shield around the carrier, armed with the Aegis combat system and a full array of standard missiles. SM-2, SM-6, Tomahawks, and ESSMs. Their primary role is to provide layered missile defense, intercepting hostile aircraft, missiles, or surface ships before they get close. The submarines add a stealthy undersea dimension, ensuring the group's protection from beneath the waves while extending its offensive reach. This synergy of platforms forms a high survivability envelope, ensuring the carrier can operate deep within contested zones. The USS John F. Kennedy also benefits from the experience gained from its sister ship, the USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, which has already gone through extensive sea trials, operational tests, and combat system integration. 
These lessons have enabled improvements in maintenance accessibility, software integration, and crew training aboard the CVN-79. The result is not just a clone of the CVN-78, but a more refined and battle-ready vessel. In the future, one of the most exciting prospects for the John F. Kennedy is the integration of powerful laser weapons. The U.S. Navy has already tested several directed energy systems, including the Laser Weapon System (LAWS) and Helios, with promising results. These systems offer several advantages. Unlimited ammunition, near zero per shot cost, and instant response time. For a carrier operating in an era of drone swarms, cruise missile saturation attacks, and hypersonic glide vehicles, having a laser capable of engaging multiple fast-moving targets at once could be the ultimate defense game-changer. While the CVN-79 may not launch with lasers installed, its electrical power generation and open architecture make it uniquely suited for their future development. As a global power, the United States must also count for the evolution of rival naval forces. Several nations have invested heavily in their own carrier programs, though none have yet matched the scale, capability, or technological maturity of the Ford class. For instance, the UK's HMS Queen Elizabeth is a modern and capable carrier with advanced systems and a flexible mission profile. But it relies on a ski jump configuration which cannot launch heavy aircraft like the Ford's class can. France's Charles de Gaulle, while nuclear-powered, is smaller and less automated. China's Fujian, its third and most advanced carrier, features electromagnetic launch systems, showing clear technological ambition, but it remains to be seen how its operational reliability compares to American standards. The Gerald R. Ford class, and by extension the John F. Kennedy, maintains an edge through its deep integration of automation, survivability systems, sortie generation capacity, and future-proof power architecture. Another aspect that sets the CVN-79 apart is crew efficiency. Through greater automation and system reliability, the John F. Kennedy requires hundreds fewer sailors than a Nimitz-class carrier, resulting in significant long-term cost savings. These savings come without sacrificing combat readiness and, in fact, improve the ship's ability to maintain high operational tempo for longer durations. The air wing aboard the John F. Kennedy will include a mix of F-A-18 E and F Super Hornets, E-A-18G Growlers for electronic warfare, E-2D Advanced Hawkeyes for early warning, and MH-60RS helicopters for anti-submarine and search and rescue missions. In the near future, the air wing will also include the F-35C Lightning II, a fifth-generation stealth fighter that brings unprecedented situational awareness, networked lethality, and survivability. These aircraft extend the carrier's reach far beyond the horizon, giving it the ability to shape battle space outcomes before threats are even visible. Perhaps one of the most underappreciated aspects of the John F. Kennedy is its role as a mobile diplomacy platform. U.S. aircraft carriers are often the first response to international crises, humanitarian disasters, and geopolitical provocations. Their very presence off the coast of a troubled region sends a message. The United States is watching and it can project power anywhere on the globe. The CVN-79, once fully operational, will likely follow this legacy, operating across the Indo-Pacific, the Mediterranean, and beyond, as a visible and potent instrument of American foreign policy. Ultimately, the USS John F. Kennedy represents far more than steel, sensors, and systems. It symbolizes the future of sea-based air power. As threats evolve and adversaries modernize, the Ford-class aircraft carriers ensure that the U.S. Navy remains not just relevant, but dominant. The CVN-79 is poised to be one of the most capable and versatile instruments of military power ever constructed, built not only to deter conflict, but to win it decisively if necessary. As the United States looks toward an uncertain global future, marked by rising peer competitors, increasingly contested sea lanes, and the proliferation of advanced weapons, the John F. Kennedy stands as a beacon of innovation, deterrence, and strength. Whether responding to crises, engaging in full-spectrum combat, or supporting allied operations, this supercarrier is engineered to lead the way. In every way that matters – power, protection, adaptability, and endurance – it is not just the next aircraft carrier. It is the carrier of the future. What are your thoughts on the new aircraft carrier? Let us know in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.